So we've just received news that despite all odds, as you can read from the title, the original OG Zombies crew of Richtofen, Dempsey, Takio and Nikolai are returning to Black Ops Zombies. Now I have some pretty strong opinions on this, which I will get into, but before I do, we need to discuss where this information has even come from and its credibility. But even before that, I hate to be called to action Andy, but I'd really appreciate a like on this video, and if you're not subscribed yet, just click the button because it will help me more than you'd know. Let's get into it though. Now, this information is rumoured to emerge from Call of Duty 2025 feedback sessions where select individuals were chosen to hear information about next year's upcoming game and even play a little. Now, if the source for this information was just a bunch of people basically saying, dude, trust me, I wouldn't be making this video, but this information has been collected and verified by reputable leaker and journalist Tom Henderson of Insider Gaming. Tom Henderson isn't just anyone, he has an incredible track record for being right and I'd bet almost everything he's published has been accurate. At least it has in my recent memory. Now you know where this information originated and its credibility of the publishing source, we need to look at what has been claimed and discuss. The article opens with the headline stating that Call of Duty Zombies original crew could return in 2025, which is a very confusing and eye-catching headline for anyone who's up to date with the zombie storyline, as their return simply doesn't make any sense. But I digress, let's continue. Several sources have revealed that Call of Duty Zombies original crew might be making their original return in Call of Duty 2025. The news comes from several sources sources who were invited to Call of Duty 2025's playtests and feedback sessions, where it was revealed that the original crew for Zombies are set to make their return. Dempsey- What the f- I've just noticed the article says Dempsey and Tank, but those are the same people. <laughs> so let me correct that. Dempsey, Richtoff, and Takio and Nikolai were all said to be featured as part of the feedback sessions, with one eagle-eyed Zombies fan stating that the versions of the characters were not Ultimus and that the characters looked older than Primus. Okay, so what we can establish from this information is that next year's Call of Duty entry will have the original crew returning in some way, shape or form, but not the original fun Ultimus crew from Black Ops 1, an aged Primus crew which we played as from Origins in Black Ops 2 all the way to Tag the Totem in Black Ops 4. Now at this point, I'm sure many of you are celebrating this information and the return of the original crew, but as it stands right now, I'm actually not one of them. Our original crew of Richtofen, Dempsey, Nikolai and Takio, by the end of the Aether story, sacrificed themselves to end the cycle, giving their lives to collapse the multiverse, creating one good universe without the evil of the previous universes, banishing all that was wrong to the Dark Aether forevermore. The only two characters to exit the previous universe were Samantha Maxis and Eddie Richtofen, as they were pure. They could be seen as the only two that exited the previous universe and entered the current one. Now, do you see the problem here? The previous crew isn't just trapped in the Dark Aether, like Sam currently is. They're dead. They're stone dead. Nikolai poisoned every remaining member of Primus and Ultimus. Then once he was sure they were dead, he had Samantha shoot him, ending the cycle. There is no feasible way these characters could ever return again in my head. It seems like the only reason they're making this decision is to fuel sales opposed to just telling a good story. Not only this, but Takio's voice actor actually suffered a stroke which forced him into retirement. If they're all brought back, he'd have to be recast, which I'm sure would rub a lot of fans the wrong way, as his voice is Takio. Casting him just wouldn't be the same in my opinion. And I feel as if we're in a position right now where people are coming around to the new current Dark Aether crew of Weaver, Carver, Grey and Maya, and they're just deciding to throw away all that progress for some fan service nostalgia bait. The only way I could see this happening is if Rick's often brings them back using the Sentinel artifact they're now chasing to control Prima Materia, the substance that makes up the universe. But why would Rick's often do this? What is his motivation? We're all currently being led to believe that Rick's often wants to resurrect his dead wife and son that were accidentally barbecued by Weaver in a failed CIA ordered assassination attempt. This seems like a far more likely motive than assuming that he not only remembers the past universe, but the child incarnation of Rick's often, for whatever reason, wants to bring back the friends of his old former self. I don't get it, and I don't understand why he would do this. If this is all true, they better have a good explanation for it, because right now, I'm not seeing one at all. The article goes on to say, according to the same sources, the zombie storyline will evolve around a new enemy character who wants to absorb the dark ether essence of the original four characters and bring back the old multiverse. What? What character would want to do this? How would they have any knowledge of the multiverse at all? None of it ever existed thanks to the efforts of the Primus crew. Now we're undoing all of this work. If this is true again, it means that Ultimus and Primus both died for nothing and the entire Dark Aether story has been pointless. I do understand the community at large is probably excited by this info, but I'm sorry, it just rubs me the wrong way. The original crew have had their time, just let them rest. The leak also states that sources also corroborated the recent zombie 
Zombies leak that also originated from such playtests and feedback sessions. Sources said that the main Zombies map will be transit inspired with some sort of travel system to navigate around the map. One source who was part of such playtests also revealed that there was a plan to have six total Zombies maps throughout the life cycle of COD 2025, but whether or not the game's scope has changed is unclear. It's worth stressing that these playtest events usually have some variations to the details in order to gain valued feedback and potentially pinpoint the origin of some leaks. However, from what we've been able to determine, this information has been at various different feedback events worldwide over the past 12 months or so, suggesting that the information is almost certainly accurate, but never say never. So yes, finally we are getting some form of transit remake or at least a map inspired by the mechanics of transit. What I find interesting is how many years now we've been hearing this information that a potential transit remake is coming, going all the way back to Black Ops 4 with the scrap Zombies Chronicles 2 DLC. Then we heard about it again, being pushed back to Cold War, which never came. Then we heard about it again, coming to Black Ops 6 Zombies, which would make no sense. Now we're hearing that a transit-inspired map is coming again. Either this has been the longest delay in Call of Duty history, or this is a baseless rumor. Or, if as Tom says, this is from verified sources, this is just a massive trolling operation. Let me know what you think in the comments below. This leak has also revealed that there's six Zombies maps planning to be released in this game, which makes sense with two at launch and then four being in the post-launch season. This is what I'm assuming Black Ops 6 is also following. Again though, Tom himself said this information could be poisoned to try and discover the sources of leaks, so do not believe all this with 100% certainty. However, if every feedback session across the world is reporting basically the same information, then I think it's pretty safe to say and assume that there is some truth to this. What do you think about all this information? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, as I'm genuinely unsure what to think personally. I simultaneously love and hate this idea. By the way, did you know I'm doing a little streaming now? On this very channel, I'm grinding up the Nebula camo on Black Ops 6 Zombies as much as I can, so if you're interested in catching that, remember to turn on all notifications with the bell icon when you subscribe. Last stream we had many new gifted members, which brings me to the extended huge shout out to my Slot Plus members. Chewy Peron, Emmy, AJ Warner, It's Kane, Kaito, Sleepy Cat Game Dev, Cosmic the Third, Joe Mama, Maugs Meekin, Glocky by Rari, Karisu, Eddie, Cypher Waffles, Zeroff, Lord Suck, Meds22 Bro, Divorcite, Neko Shark 935, Blade, Fury, Anristo, Koishi, Venicles, and Mr. Oni. It's $1 a month because I know my worth. If you want to be featured here and view my private post, all you gotta do is subscribe below the video and then click the join button. It's $1 a month, so I basically get nothing for it, but it's a nice way to show support. However, if you like the video and don't have a dollar to throw at the screen, a like and a sub are also greatly appreciated. Anyway, that's about it for this one. Like and subscribe, or you'll be baited by an Activision out of $100. Okay, right, Wh which way do we go? Show me. Show me. Show me. Which way do we go? That way? But how do I get there? Oh, what the fucking... There's no way out of here. Why did I come in here? What? Why did I come in here? Why did I come in here? What's going on? Oh, man. I need to go. I'm fucked. I fucked this. I fucked this so hard. I've got two minutes left. I have a chopper gunner, which will hopefully save my ass. I can't jump over that wall. I'm guessing. Oh, don't let me go all the way for the sea cave. That's gonna take forever. Is there not a way I can just jump off? Oh, I can. Spawn the boat, spawn the boat, spawn the boat. Give me the boat. Let me in the boat. I don't think I'm gonna do this in time. I had no idea what the path was. I only got a minute and a half. Cheese it. I'm gonna I can cheese it with the chopper gunner. Let's spawn them in. Let, let's spawn them in. And then we'll whip out the chopper. Oh, there's an amalgam. Okay, thank God I have that. I think that's enough right now. Okay, let's just cheese it with the chopper gunner. Please work. Give me control. Give me control. Give me control. Give me control. Where's the amalgam? The amalgam's gonna be the most annoying thing to deal with. That might be it. Yeah, that's taking forever to die, whatever that is. That must be the amalgam. Nice. Nice. Fucking cheesed it. Let's go. Oh, I'm surprised I did it. 